Hey everyone, Oninda here. Today I'm going to show you OmniROM on uh, my Samsung Galaxy S2. So OmniROM is based on 4.4.2 Android version. So this is the lock screen. So this is the lock screen which we get with uh, date information time and the lock to unlock. If we swipe to the right we can directly view the camera. So let's unlock. So once you unlock the phone, this is the main interface which you get. Okay. And this is the dialer with the new style Android 4.4 KitKat dialer. This is the people contact application. Okay. is a main menu is a notification bar with some quick toggles so let's go to settings and this is uh, the Android version which we get it's Android 4.4.2 KitKat and here I'm running on OmniROM on on i9100 which is Galaxy S2 and this is the nightly build ROM <coughs> and here we have the <coughs> Android KitKat logo The battery life on this ROM is pretty good and it has a actually I haven't added a SIM card but phone calling and uh, SMS Wi-Fi Bluetooth everything works on this ROM okay so let me show you the camera as you can see the picture quality is pretty sharp okay let me see if we can capture this video yes uh, video video recording also works fine Okay, so that's the camera. This is the gallery application. Here you can edit the pics by this pencil icon okay to change the wallpaper we need to press the menu button and here we have the list of wallpapers okay and to choose from gallery we need to click this pick image okay and um, by 
and on this menu only here we can see we have widgets we can add widgets to a liking and to add a new home screen all we need to do is to drag the widget to the new home screen and place it like this okay actually in android kitkat we can have up to unlimited home screens if we add a new icon on the next home screen like this okay so this is the messaging application if you download the latest uh, hangout application then hangout then uh, you will get a choice to replace the default messaging application with the hangout sms system so it's up to your liking so once we install this rom and flash the zip we get this application by default like documents developer tools dsp manager chief mm -hmm. photo gallery movie studio okay and this is the default apollo music application which we get on this rom let me show you the settings once more on settings we get wi-fi bluetooth on in interface we get to you know, see the bars brightness control means this one notification count network speed indicator all these things if we do brightness control see what happens we can reduce the brightness or to increase the brightness like this notification count network speed indicator okay on menus we can select this to screenshot or screen record means this one alright next we can change some options in notification drawer active display high low priority ok I don't know what's active display you can check it out in sounds we get normal sound settings and mix things one more thing I wanna show you that here on this more option here we, we can select the default sms app okay so if you download the hangout application then it will show over here then you can choose which default me uh, messaging application you want to use messaging or hangout storage out of uh, 1.97 GB we get 1.8 and uh, here out of 12 GB we get about 7 8 GB actually I installed something that's why it's eating up 1 GB location okay on location here we have on location here we have uh, three options like high accuracy, battery saving, and Jeep and device only. Okay, and uh, here we get performance. We can tweak the CPU speed and all. Developer option here we have the runtime selection here we can select the mm, use delvic or the android runtime art i haven't tested this out but 
uh, I guess it will speed up the application load times okay and uh, those who don't know how to get this developer option by default the developer option will be not there so those who don't know how to get this developer option you can directly uh, come down you can directly go to a about phone and come down to the build number and press this build number seven times and here you can see it's in no need you are already a developer okay means this one okay guys the call quality I haven't tested out cause I haven't put any sim but it should be good cause this ROM is fully stable and the Bluetooth GPS everything works on this ROM so yeah that's it if you like if you like this video then please click the like button below I'll, I will appreciate it and if any queries regarding this video regarding this ROM you can directly ask me in comments I'll be there to help you okay and yeah thanks for watching this is on in the signing out